Welcome to September's Lead Code Challenge. This problem is called split linked list in parts. Given the head of a singly linked list and an integer k, split the linked list into k consecutive linked list parts. The length of each part should be as equal as possible. No two parts should have a size differing by more than one. This may lead to some parts being null. Got it? And the parts should be in the order of the occurrence in the link input list and parts occurring earlier should always have a size greater than or equal to the parts occurring later. So if we had a linked list with three nodes, one, two, three, but a K of five, we're gonna split this up as equal as possible, which would be one, two, three for the first three and two empty ones for the last two. Now with this example, we can see we have a list of 10 numbers, but we have a K of three. So we wanna divide this up into three parts, but that's not gonna be equal out, right? Because if we did 10 divided by three, that's gonna be three and remainder of one. So what we're gonna do is take that remainder and put it to the beginning, how many uh, are, are remaining. Remaining first, those first ones, we're gonna add one more. And how we're gonna do this is keep track of the head and just move down the list in a nested for loop. We'll store the previous node each time. So that way, when we know we have to split the list, we're gonna have that previous node now point to a none. And if we find that we've run out of nodes, then it's just gonna add a null value into this output. Okay, so we have to do this in two parts. We're gonna to have to do a two pass solution because no matter what, we need to find the N here, how many nodes are in the linked list. And there's no way to know that until we pass through the whole thing. So let's just put this up here so I can kind of keep track of what I might have to do. Uh, let's first store our output, which is going to be a list, and let's go through our list and find our n. Okay, so let's see, n would be have our current pointer point to the head, and we'll say while cur cur equals cur dot next, and uh, make sure to increase our one. And I guess we'll store that in, starting with zero here. Okay, so once we're getting out of this loop, now we should have our value of how, however many ends we have. Okay, so what else is left? Well, we, never, we need to know how many belong in each, each you know, partition and also how many are left. So how I'm gonna call that, let's see, we'll call it part and we'll say however many are left. Now the part is simply n divided by k. And however many are left is gonna be n modular k, right? So here with a length of 10, we know that each part's gonna have at least three and we are going to add one to that first one when we add to our output. All right, so let's reset our head or cur to point to the head again. And this time we're gonna also store the previous. All right, so for, doesn't matter, in range of we know there's gonna be k parts that we need to return. And all we do is append to our output whatever our current thing is pointing to, right? But we also need to make sure that we increase our, uh, well, let me think. First, I guess we should first add it here and then move along our current pointer. So we'll say for length and range of, what is it, part, part, partitions, we want to move our current pointer ahead. So as long as we have a current pointer, we're going to move it ahead. So if there's a current pointer, we'll say cur, it's cur.next. And the, before we do that, actually, we'll store that previous to equal cur. Now, why do we do this? Well. Uh, we need to break off that previous node, right? So as long as there's a previous at the end, we are gonna say, hey, previous.next, make sure it's equal to none. So that way we're like cutting off this linked list. But one more thing, we might have some left here, right? So if we have some left, we'll actually have to say, well, if, if there's a left uh, and make sure there's current value, Say cur equals, cur. gotta store that previous, right? 
previous cur and cur equals cur dot next. And gosh, I hope I got this right. I'm not positive I did. So let's see. Uh, let's first check our first example here. All right, so that does look like it's working, but let's also check this one. Uh, okay, hmm. So I missed something up here. Oh, right, right, right. I need to decrease our, however many are left here, left minus equal one, because we're gonna run out of those. Let's make sure that worked here. Okay, so that looks like it's working. And accepted, so great, this is time complexity of O of N plus K or hmm, I think it's just O of N uh, plus possibly however, however many we have left here. So we'll call that L, O of N plus L and space complexity. Well, I think it's constant because as long as you don't count the output, it would, it would be nothing extra whatever we are storing. So yeah, so I think it's constant space. All right, great. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.